Okay, welcome back to the second part of our lesson number nine, wherein I'm just going to continue the different tasks. So I'm not going to make this uh, long. So let me just uh, recap. So what we discussed in the first video is uh, the pivot table, wherein it's used to summarize a big amount of data in a bigger table. Okay, to a simpler one to present to analyze uh, the data from that. Okay, so you've seen the first example from the first video. This is it. Um, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so this is the first example with the slicer. So let's just go back here. I'll uh, rename this task one. Okay, let me go to task two. What is the total amount sold in each month? Total amount, so it involves again the amount, but now per month. So let's just again highlight the whole table. Okay, and then insert five a table. So we will just press OK here. So I'm going to put this, okay, and I'm going to rename it task number two. So what are we going to do? Very simple. Uh, now order amount, but per month. Simple as that. Okay, let's proceed to task number three. Do I have to repeat? This is a video, by the way, so you can repeat it anytime you want. Okay, so you just need order amount. Okay, that's the amount we want. And then we want to uh, click the month because it says month here. So you can also sort this A to Z. Okay. Or if you want, you can more sort options, you know, January until December. So let's go to task number three. Show the detailed sales. Of each salesperson, so sales of each salesperson per region. So there are already three uh, fields that is in, uh, being considered then. When, when uh, being considered here, when we say sales, that means the amount. Each salesperson and then region. Okay. So again, let me add a table. Insert. Five table. This is default. So we will just press OK here. So I'm going to click salesperson, region, and order amount. As simple as that. Okay. Now you can see your Abla is north south. Ahmed is north southwest. So you can actually put this is north south as a column here. So how are we going to do that? So I I've shown you this earlier. Mm -hmm. How will I do this? Ah, here. Okay. So I'm going to put the region in the columns. Okay, so that is north, south, west. Okay, grand total per uh, per person, and then you have the different sales per region. East, north, south, west are are the regions involved. Okay. So this is what pivot table is all about. That's task number three. Okay. So let's go to task number four. Without further ado, task number four show the account summary of each salesperson per month. So account summary, salesperson month. Okay. So I already highlighted this earlier. Insert pivot table. So we will just press OK here. Sales person, account summary, and is it region? Sorry. Task number four, month. And month. Okay, so task number four.
Okay. So it's the same idea. I'm going to put the month on the columns. Okay. Although it's not arranged alphabetically, you can arrange that. Okay. So it's up to you. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Oh, it's arranged. Ah, but June is and May is here. So you can actually, let's see, cut. Ah, it's already here, so it's just repeated. Why was it repeated? Spelling maybe. Okay. So anyway, assuming there was no mistake in our table, so let's keep it like this. Okay, let's go to task number five. Show the detailed sales person of each sales of each sales person showing the month and region. Sales, sales person, month, region. So four. So as simple as that. Five table. So we will just press OK here. Sales region. Uh, month and order month, isn't it? Show the detail number five sales of each sales person, month and regions. So this is task five. Let me just go ahead, bring it here after task four. Okay, so that's it. Uh, it's no da, da, da. So I'll just go into put the column the month maybe because it's longer uh, but he put I, I will not put it in filters it should be in column so this is how it will look like okay so you can also put the he already suggested the region maybe as a filter so you can show all or is okay north if it is all this is how it would look like okay then let's go to task number six create a five foot chart that will show the summary of all the sales per sales person so you remember task number one sales amount sold by each salesperson. Okay, it's just the same. But now we need to use a private chart. I'm going to highlight, it's already highlighted. So insert private table. So we will just press OK here. It's OK. Okay, so it's still here. I'm going to name it task number six. Okay, and then I'm going to move it here. Now I'm going to click salesperson and order amount. Okay, we've done this in task number one, but right now I'm going to introduce uh, a pivot chart. Okay, so right now you can click pivot chart here. Okay, in our pivot chart, you have column, you can choose bar. Okay, so let me just choose bar for now, so it will be easier. Press OK. So this is your pivot chart. Okay, you can see that not all is being shown because our, uh, yeah, this is small. Our space is small. So if you want this to be bigger, let me just uh, minimize this. And let's see if it will, sorry. So it's still not showing all the names. Yeah, now it's showing all the names. Okay. Now the good thing about this one is that you can already filter in the fiber chart. Okay, our uh, a name, Ablis here. Okay, uh, or three names, Ahmed Anouf. Okay, Anouf Ahmed Abla. Or if you want, you can value filters. Remember what we did before in our filtering. 
you can use top 10. Okay, let's say you want to show only the top three, uh, top three uh, salesperson. Okay, so now it's showing Zara, Majid, and Hunwa. Okay, so that's what is good in the pivot chart. Okay, so and then the last one, create a pivot chart that shows sales of each salesperson per region. Sales, salesperson, region. So again, it's highlighted. Let me just show my tabs and commands. Insert pivot table. So we're just going to press OK here. Remember, I'm not doing anything new, so I'm just repeating what I did in the previous examples. So once you press OK there, you're going to have pivot tools here. And then analyze and design tabs. And then of course your pivot table fields will be here. Salesperson, region, order amount. Okay, I'm going to put the region again in the columns. So east, north, southwest. And then I'm going to insert a pivot chart. So it's in the tools. Click here. So I'm already here. I'm going to accept the column. Press OK. And that's it. OK, you can see east, north, west. So Abla will have this. Ahmed will have this. So you have a regent here and so on. So if you want to show only the north region, so this is how it will look like. Okay. So that is actually lesson number nine for pivot table. So I hope you have learned something again about our Excel uh, lecture. So I hope also you like my background. So uh, uh, <laughs> luckily I still found out or discovered how to do this. Uh, at least I'm showing you the relationship of our lessons in uh, with Geotech. Okay, so our background is the Geotech Fountain Amphitheater. So see you around. Watch out for our next video. Uh, or our next lesson. So I hope you learned uh, something again and please try to prepare and study hard and always uh, uh, submit our exercises. If you have questions, I'll just be around uh, one email away or one uh, message away. So with that, I'll see you again. Take care always. Everybody keep uh, safe. Um, please social distancing um, as much as possible. Don't meet your friends, okay, or relatives outside your house. You just need to meet your family members inside your house for now, okay? Uh, you have to resist that urge. And advance uh, Ramadan Karim to everybody. So, God bless. Uh, ciao.